subscribe to our channel. Amazing information about our mysterious world awaits you. Don't forget to hit the like button. The presence of a substantial amount of water on Earth is a result of several factors that have shaped the planet's formation and evolution over billions of years. Here are the key reasons why there is so much water on Earth. Formation from Solar Nebula About 4.6 billion years ago, our solar system formed from a rotating disk of gas and dust called the Solar Nebula. As the Solar Nebula cooled, water vapor condensed and formed ice particles, which eventually coalesced to create planetesimals. Some of these planetesimals, including Earth, had enough mass and gravity to retain water. Accretion and Differentiation During the early stages of Earth's formation, it went through a process called accretion, where it accumulated more and more matter due to its gravitational pull. As it grew in size, the planet's internal heat increased, leading to differentiation. This process caused denser materials, such as iron and nickel, to sink towards the core, while lighter elements, including water, rose towards the surface. Late Heavy Bombardment Around 4 billion years ago, Earth experienced a period of intense asteroid and comet impacts known as the Late Heavy Bombardment. These impacts brought large amounts of water-rich materials from outer regions of the solar system, contributing to the water content of Earth. Outgassing from volcanoes As Earth's interior continued to heat up, volcanoes began to erupt, releasing gases trapped within the planet. Water vapor was one of these gases, and it escaped through volcanic activity to the surface, eventually cooling and condensing to form water bodies. Comet and Asteroid Impacts Even after the late heavy bombardment phase, comets and asteroids continued to collide with Earth over millions of years. Many of these cosmic bodies contained significant amounts of water, which further added to Earth's water reservoirs. Water Cycling once water was established on Earth's surface, natural processes such as the water cycle, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and plate tectonics helped redistribute and maintain the water over time. This continuous cycling sustains Earth's vast water supply. Ongoing geological and biological processes Throughout Earth's history, geological processes like weathering and erosion, as well as biological processes, have contributed to the movement and distribution of water across the planet. Collectively, these factors have led to the abundance of water on Earth, covering approximately 71% of its surface and providing the essential conditions for life to flourish. Water is a fundamental component of the planet's ecosystems, weather patterns, and overall habitability.